what? This one's so much nicer. So much nicer. <laughs> Best thing I think I've done for you is kill your router. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Awesome. We're hunkering along now. Yeah, we need a bit of wind now. We're in the heads. We're gonna get. Give these guys up here nothing. It's day two of the scarfing exercise, and we've bought Ed a new router. The other one crapped itself because he killed it. <laughs> but he's enjoying it, aren't you, mate? Right, this one's so much nicer. So much nicer. <laughs> Best thing I think I've done for you is kill your router. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Awesome. And a four-year warranty, so it doesn't come any better than that. And we bought a, the most expensive bit we could have bought. <laughs> Oh, that's doing an amazing job. Look at that scarf. It is perfect. Very, very happy with that. So over here, we've got uh, the main. This is our main compression bulkhead that goes right across the center. Nothing goes below the waterline, by the way. None of this wood goes below the waterline. This is only the uh, template, but Ed's there scarfing. scarfing our plywood for this particular section. But uh, we, got, we got the first one in yesterday. We got our forward bulkhead in yesterday, or at least glued in place. And uh, this is our second one. So. Uh, we're going to set this up, hopefully get this done before I have to leave for the day. So the poor guys, right, uh, boys and girls, do not rely on marine plywood being void free. This is a BS1088 marine ply and we've discovered some voids, haven't we, Ed? Yes, we do. And what would you have to say about that? Well, at least it was the... Not the, not the piece that I made beautiful. <laughs> we're not... Not mentioning the scarf here, what we're doing is we're talking about the lousy quality marine ply and I'm thinking I'm going to take it up with um, Gunnison's who are the supplier, not the actual retailer that's here, but that is definitely uh, not what I'd call marine ply. It's got voids and we're going to have to bog that with epoxy and it's probably all the way through. Not a great scene, eh mate? Not great. Not when you're paying the money we paid for it. Anyway. Oh, okay. Now I'm going to um, just apologise for the sound quality over this next 15 minutes or so. Uh, we had a, a massive fan blowing in the tent because it was around 40 odd degrees every day here. Um, it was just unavoidable and that fan, you know, didn't provide much relief at all and it's quite unbearable. But, you know, we worked like bloody absolute soldiers over this period and uh, and it was pretty tough to deal with but you know that fan and I do apologize once again for it but you know it sort of shows you the sort of conditions we're all working in yeah if summer lasts a little longer and you lose it yeah that's right doesn't seem to happen that way though You gonna help him? No, no, I'm gonna wait and laugh at him when he. So, are you on the video with the fruit cake this week? Oh, yeah. Oh, awesome. The whole thing. Uh, oh, it's close quarters here, isn't it? You alright, mate? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. But that's the end without the fan joint there. Gives me something to set it down so I can get over it. And what we'll do is, no, we'll get you up this end so you put a little space.
Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well that's in place. Good job, Ed. <laughs> Good job. Look at that. Big bulk, Ed. It's getting very closed in, isn't it? There's not a lot of air flowing in here. I've cut a door, though. Sorry, which I, think. <laughs> I don't think I'll get through that. And we've got Debbie doing extra footage. Loving it, loving it. Fantastic. Leave that there, you can work on that, and I can do this one from standing in there. I'm full of mayhem, this. Get to it, Ed. Right, so, Deb, we're going to mix up a batch here of uh, what have we got here, Ed? NP. This is, this is what they've got, the other channels that do, they quote the chemical number, I really don't care, but NP757R, uh, a proxy bond fast, and the catalyst the is. 500 G. 500, that's 500 the grand grand teeth. <laughs> Bloody yeah, Americans. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 75. What would you say? Half an ounce or something? Or right. Five ounces or something? 500, 500 grams. I got I got pounds and ounces about 50 years ago, like the rest of the world, other than you. <laughs> That'll right. stir up all the American viewers, won't it, mate? Yeah, it's two. <laughs> 2.2 pounds. Yeah, per two kilo. kilo. Half a kilo is 500 grams. 1.1, 1. 1, right? 1.1 1. 1 pounds. Yeah, 1.1 gram. 1.1 pound is half 500 grams. Correct. Which is 16 ounces plus. Uh, let's get a close up here, Deb. Come on, come in here. Let's let's show the uh, show the mixing technique here. It's very scientific. <laughs> but you never mix your paddle pop sticks. You never put a dirty stick in a in a pot. I'm gonna go with about. It's pretty long this scarf, mate, isn't it? Yeah. I'm gonna go with a batch. I'm gonna go with. Yep. Don't mix that with mine, will you? Yep. As soon as I put that in there, it's all over. But I'm thinking that'll do. I reckon that's heaps. Oh, God, yeah. that's a lot. Press that? Yeah, no, that's a lot. All right. Yeah. Notice we did that by weight and volume. Yeah. Very scientific. <laughs> oh, that's the way it is here in the mold. It's all. <laughs> oh, well, I'm just wondering if. Old time Ed, lapse this. I, I'm wondering if Andy at Boatworks today's heart just went. Oh. Pop. Hey, if Andy, if you're watching this, um, I'm all for, I, I actually strongly believe, and I know it's been proven, and I know you did a video just recently about the strength of polyester. Polyester has been proven to be stronger for the first instance, but once it cops a bang, it weakens. And that's the beauty of epoxy, is it holds structural strength over a longer period of time. So I've done some reading, and I watched his last video, and uh, yeah, I love him. He's great. Well, He's it, a great guy. You need to know, Andy is American, so you lost him at Cops a Bang. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think he's thinking something else. <laughs> oh, you got it. Yeah. Oh, I love In the fact that you just can get arrested for copying a yeah. bang. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. This has uh, been a very long week for Ed. Copying my, uh, my Australian slang. That'll do. I reckon we're good. All right, are you ready, buddy? There you go, go and make a cake. All right. <laughs> He's got his butter. He's happy. Oh, how am I going to do that? You want Wait, you got to you got to get down. Get down the hole. Again. Get down, get down, get down tonight. <laughs> get down. And I'll move on down, move get, on down the line. Get on down, get on down the hole again. This is my hole. This is where I fall. Uh oh. I reckon Debbie's in the way. I oh, see this says the cameraman's good. never in the way yet. Oh, you know what we didn't do? We didn't mask. You didn't do your job right, mate. Oh, crap. Right. Yeah, right. well, yeah, but that, that's because we've gotten really good at it. Yeah, we're just... And we're not going to smear it now. Smearing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fine. Yeah, we are. Uh, also, it's because you're, uh, <clears throat> you're already 40 minutes late. Yes, yes. My daughter will kill me. That's all right. I'm going to need some more. Uh, yeah, but you can, you can show her why you're late. Yeah, yeah. You have, you have video footage. Oh, yeah, I've always got footage. Just, I never have to prove anything because it's always on video. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, okay. that's good. That, that, that's because that, you had that, that uh, American guy crappy that. router. Oh. Is that you? That's yeah. Or the actual machine. Um, do, you know yes. what, do you know what we've got? Do you know what Rooted means in Australia? What? It's basically the airport. Get rooted. <laughs> okay. 
And, what, and, and when my wife arrived here out from England, she used to say, oh, we use a router. When um, in computing science, like Cisco router. Yeah. This is a router. But uh, yeah. they used to call them a router because it routes the, the data. <laughs> but it's a bit of a problem in Australia. <laughs> that is not a good term in this country. So if you're tired, you're rooted. Or you're rooted, we say. So get this, do you get, do you get what I'm saying here? If I say I'm Wallaby Ted's brother. Wallaby Ted's brother. Rooted. <laughs> it means I'm effed. <laughs> Wallaby Ted's brother, rooted. Mm. Do you get it? It's <laughs> <laughs> brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> That's what my brother called me, Wallaby Ted. Oh uh, no. He doesn't get any crap on his pants, Ted. Huh? He hasn't worked hard enough. Okay. Okay, so there's got to be gold or a proxy. He's been with me. Well. Alright, come again. Alright, come again. Now we're going to get inside. I can't see the line here. It's fairly close. I'm going to go around and see. Get the line put it. We are there. Were they? Yeah. You ready? I can do it for me. Um, so, it. yeah, because you got a window now. Or a door. There we go. All right. Perfectly positioned. Right um, about four inches down from that clamp. Um, are you going to be able to hold it there? Yes. Yeah. If you hurry. Four inches. Oh, this is way off up here. The top is way out. The scarf. Way out how? It's going to go. Like that. Right Is that there. right now? Um, yeah. Yeah? Okay, so can you, we need to hold it there. Okay. Can yeah. you hold it back on that? I can probably hold it up. Yeah. If you can just hold it all. Um, I'm how about shoot, shoot a screw right in the top, like quarter of an inch down from the joint. I'm just wanted to hold the two just pieces together. Pull a scarf apart a bit, just a little bit. Yeah, you're. Uh, How's that? You're good. Beautiful. You're on the line. You're good. Yeah, you're down, down about the width of your hand. Oh. What? Half. the screw that you just put in. Oh no, I'll just go eight inches. You ready? Yeah. Okay. How's that? Is that in? It is. Beautiful. Oh, we've lost our scarf at the bottom here, though. See how it's moved over? Um, yeah, that's good. Yeah, uh, take this screw out of the, uh, the second one down, yeah. Oh, out of this part. Uh, the second the, one down. Uh, take this one out. Yeah, yeah. Take one out of this part. And... Oh, that one, the other one. <laughs> I thought it was a full length. Okay, put that one back. You alright? Yeah. Now we're gonna move it. Let's move it while we're at it. I can't see what we're doing. I thought you had the pop. And the very, the very top one. Yeah, right. Now oh, you need to move that, mate. I can't draw for me. I'm just gonna break the scar. That's it. Now we're talking. That's better. Yeah. Move this one. Okay. He's happy now, dear. I've been happy since you got here. You guys are awesome. Yeah. Well, right, where are we, mate? I seem to remember hearing that you were like a cranky bastard. Oh, I'm a cranky bastard. Um, oh, I'm a cranky bastard. <laughs> I haven't seen that part of it. Oh, do you know what? I was telling uh, Debbie to say, can you just push there? I can. Push. You got it? Yes. Yeah. I, uh, my wife, our friend say to us, Gee, Ross, I don't think I'd ever see you stress. And she goes, you know how ripped off I feel when I hear that? You should come home like an absolute bastard. But I just, I, I, I like to laugh a lot though, 
Because there's no point in not. <laughs> Life's too short. Yeah. Oh, she did. You I, I swear a lot. Yeah. I'm a Catholic. I swear a lot. <laughs> That's what we do. We're the vilest people on earth, Catholics. But I'm not. I'm not religious at all. Don't get me wrong. Persuasion at all, but that's how I'm running. Okay. Yeah, I've got to get this joint here. Mate, just got to get on there. Oh, yeah, mate. Yeah, you want to build a boat? Oh. Yeah, he, wants to, he wants to build another one. I'm <laughs> into the mold. Now. That's his first time down the hole, and he's already got old man noises happening here. <laughs> this is what the best video is. Yeah. I said I'd, I'd do one boat with you. Oh, oh shit. That's bad on you for it. He's just sucking up to me. All right, I'm going to go right in the middle. Right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, don't touch the butt. Uh, the lens in your side. Don't come along the bottom. Back a bit. Back. You ready? Yeah, yeah. Right, I'm Oh, we got an oozer. Okay. Oh, that's okay. As long as it's not oozing under the wood. It's not oozing under the wood, is it? No. Just oozing out, out of the crack. I'm going to go about halfway down, mate. Yeah. Go. Here we go. What's that, mate? Oh, Got some screws. You got that? It's all right. Yeah. Almost like, honestly, it's like the boys know what they're doing here. Yeah, we're not even going to have time to say goodbye. Bye. Uh, what, are you, what are you guys doing now? Are you heading north? Are we, we got nothing to do. Yeah, we, have, we have to be back next Thursday. So yeah, we're, we're right. going to we're gonna head north and... Uh, yeah, go, to, um, go to Nelson Bay. Oh, I'm suggesting. Go to Nelson Bay or Port right. Stevens. It's beautiful. What's one in there? I feel like I'm losing a brother and a sister. Have a nice what did we make today? What did we make today, Ed? Two bulkheads. Two major bulkheads. This guy has given me and you, Deb, two full days of hard work. I mean, he's destroyed everything I own, but he, <laughs> he's done a great job. He's blown up two routers, but hey. It was worth it because we got a dodge. No, I put the other router back together. Oh, did you? Okay, we fixed the other one. Okay. <laughs> but we got two main compression bulkheads uh, put together, glued in place. Yep. All yeah, glued. All, all basically scarfed and put in place. So how much do you think you're worth? Small change. So here is a donation to your your uh, your clutter on your boat. But that has a lot of value, that. Because this guy is uh, my one of my OGs, my original. <laughs> He's got a life on the mole coin. Thank you, Doug. You've allowed me to pay him for his uh, uh, two days of hard slog, and they've been camper vanning down the, down the east coast of Australia. So, And now it's time to say goodbye, but I'm sure I'll see him again. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you, Deb. Thank you You're so, welcome. so much. I've really had a ball. Good on you, mate. Uh, yeah. Come. I know what I forgot. You, you got a tent? Come to the oh. We've come to the conclusion that we need to sign every part that people work on. So Ed's going to sign off on... Uh, on the main compression bulkhead. Learn something about most things, most things about some things, and do your best at all things. Ed Roush, January 30th, 2019. Thanks, Ed. Beautiful, mate. Beautiful. Yeah, the laminate over it. But... Well, maybe not, but I might, yeah. I might actually cut yeah. that bit out. Not yet. <laughs>So a couple of weeks before all of this uh, happened, Janet and I were invited to go sailing with uh, Ron and Leslie from Liquid Edge um, Sailing Charters in Sydney Harbour. They'd uh, come down for the Sea Wind Cup on Jervis Bay, hosted by the Jervis Bay Cruising Yacht Club. And uh, this was our day on the water. Fearless leader ahead here. <laughs> Every night, does he? That's pretty sad, Leslie. I know, isn't it? <laughs> Very sad. Wants to build his own catamaran. You watching me build boats in bed at night? That's pretty sad. <laughs> <That's very> sad. <laughs> I watch but, you. But it helps me get to sleep. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, thanks, bastard! <laughs> what a nice that guy. Is such a compliment. Oh, oh, it is a compliment for me, mate. I got you something else. A bit of a
Yeah, yeah look at that. We'll be able to surf the wake. <laughs> Must not stop quickly. No. Well, I was trying to turn at 90 degrees as soon as it stopped. Yeah, it stops the wake from overrunning you. Is that better? Yeah, that's better. We'll trim it up. I'll get on the front, mate. That'll trim it. Just get a bit wet. <laughs> Yeah, we'll bring that on uh, when we get close to the mark. So I'm just looking. Two minutes thirty. We're looking where we are. Oh, you did well, mate. You haven't sworn once wrong. Yeah. That's good. It's not cool. I'm now pissed on being conservative and put the reef in. <laughs> oh no, you may not. As we get closer to the source, though, you might uh, yeah, regret it. It is supposed to come up. Yeah, if it day, comes so. up. There's nothing worse than JB on a big wind, as you found last night. <laughs> you did. At least we've got some leaders in front of us to follow. <laughs> Local knowledge, who needs that? You just need 20 boats in front of you. <laughs> oh, Leslie, you don't know. I'm the most negative person on earth. I used to be. Sold my freaking business, Ron. You won't know yourself, mate. <laughs> Life changing. You turn into a human again. You stop saying effing words. This guy's closing in on us. That 1160's on a little bit more of a port tack too now. Here we go, he's just, he's just coming about. Did you see a song? Six yeah. Oh, we're hunkering along now. Come on, give us some wind. Yeah, we need a bit of wind now. We're in the heads. We're going to get. Give these guys up here nothing. Yeah. Still got a few behind us. We're not. Is it nice up there, Liz? Gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. So we've got our uh, beloved Bowen Island over here and the Buddhary National Park down along here and we're sailing towards, um, we've got a couple of the sea winds, the sea wind Pleiades and another 1160, the 1260 I think is on the, the left and the 1160 is on the right. Yeah, they've got such a great run and, and, and uh, these are very experienced sailors but uh, we're giving it a bash, <laughs> we're still doing alright. So although we didn't win, in fact we came fourth out of five of the cats and uh, we learnt a lot. We certainly um, had a beautiful day on the water and, and pretty much took it as a nice cruise for the day. But uh, you know, I, what, what I learnt out of it was that it's nice to go out sailing and actually have a bit of a purpose rather than just going out and yeah. fluffing around. Um, certainly from point to point and having a bit of a purpose made a massive difference to the way that we sailed the boat and the way that I uh, learnt and perceived um, the skills that you need and, and, and some of the things that really uh, came to me were the, uh, the logistics and a bit of a strategy that uh, you need to race in a, in a sail race. So we hope to do more of that and huge thanks to Leslie and Ron. It was just a magic day on the water and uh, you know, with great people too. Good on you, mate. Thank you. What a day, eh? Great day. Oh, yeah, that was fantastic. Oh, we learned. We learned a lot. We all learned a lot.